everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the eighth layout using the November Hit Kit Club. And I'm showing you some of the stuff that I may be using. I did bring in some of my stash because this being the eighth layout, I, you know, brought in um, some letter stickers from my stash. And I think that's about it. Yeah, letter stickers from my stash and everything else is from the kit. So I had five of those giant letter or numbers from Studio, Studio Calico left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to color them using the eyes ink. And it's the one that came in one of the add-ons, the color add-on for November. And it's the topaz. And I'm going to color in each of the the numbers. And I kind of wanted it to look like a countdown. So nine, eight, seven, and then I'm, where I don't have all the numbers, I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. And then I have three and zero. So I put dot, dot, dot before the three and then two dots and a star and then the zero. So then it's like the countdown to Christmas. And uh, this is a picture of my grandson and my husband. And we took out peppermint and uh, we showed it to him. And it's so cute because he tries to say his name really hard. And it sounds like peppermint, but he's not actually saying peppermint. But it really sounds like he says peppermint. And um, he's quite the little chatter. Um, he can speak a lot. Like some, you know, sometimes it doesn't, I mean, he's not even two yet. So sometimes it doesn't totally, s the sounds are not all there, but you can tell he is trying to say that word. And um, so anyway, we, my husband read the book to him about, you know, peppermint and how he, you know, he, he watches them every day, every day, and then he goes and reports to Santa, and you know the whole the storybook that came with the Elf on the Shelf, and um, so he's like right into it and reading the story, and then he's pointing at every elf and saying peppermint, peppermint, and so I just I took a picture with my iPhone, and then I um, used my Pick Frame app and did the picture a four by four and. You know, the iPhones, they take pretty good pictures, but they look better if they're 4x4. Four four. They don't look as good as 4x6. Four so I um, printed it at 4x4 four four and uh, someone did ask, um, I think it was Casey, 1D Casey, um, if I was still going to do that video on the Pick Frame app and I will. I I will do it. It's just my grandson left this morning. Today is the 20th and we still didn't have our shopping done. I work starting tomorrow, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. And then, you know, we're it's Christmas. So we really needed to go and get some shopping done. So we went ugh, shopping all afternoon. We were gone like six hours and shopping is not my favorite thing to do. So, um, Tomorrow I work, so I'm going to try and take, you know, 10, 15 minutes tomorrow night and, and get that done because I have to borrow my son's phone because I film with my phone and the app is on my phone. So I'm going to try and borrow his phone for a little bit so that I can do that and kind of show you how I use the app on my phone to print photos on my Canon selfie. And then I had a few people tell me that they couldn't find the one I did before and what I did was I did a new playlist and I called it product review and I added the Canon selfie video to that list so or to that playlist so that you can you know easily find it and um, 1D Casey um, also asked if I was still going to do the video with the app and um, the pick frame app and I will I'm gonna try and fit it in tomorrow uh, today's the 20th my grandson just left this morning and then I wasn't even one I had six gifts bought still so we went and went shopping all afternoon which I totally do not like I don't like shopping but anyway it's mostly done most of it is done now but now I go back to work tomorrow so I'm gonna try and do it tomorrow night and what I'll do is I'll add it to one of my December dailies, like finishing the pages, but I'll also keep that clip and just put it under the product review 
so that you'll be able to find it easily without having to say which December daily was that in. So I'll, hopefully that'll be helpful. I just have to borrow my son's phone tomorrow night for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes to just do that clip. And then I'll add it to the video. And then I'll also add it to the product or um, product review list or playlist by itself. So then you'll be able to find it easily. So what I did was I took my gesso out. I gessoed the whole background using a palette knife. And now I want to color all those numbers using my eyes ink. And the eyes ink color is called Topaz. And so since I had the gesso out, I just took it and colored the wood veneer so that the color wouldn't sink into the wood and it would be a more vibrant color. I do have a a dauber that's a Hero Arts white ink and that I usually use. But where I had the gesso out anyway, I just decided to use the gesso. But a lot of times I'll use that, the Hero Arts dauber for that. And I really love it. But where it was already out, I decided to use it. So then I used some of that eye zinc. I put it on my block. I added some water, used some, um, um, what do you call that? Um, leftover packaging and then spread it on my layout and now I'm going to color in all those numbers and this is the second time I do the voiceover because it stopped recording halfway through so and I stop it every like six or seven minutes but anyway it only recorded it for a few minutes so I don't know if I said this before but I wanted to do the countdown of, you know, to Christmas, sort of 987. But I didn't have the, all the numbers. So I just used the numbers that I had. And I used the rest of that package on here. So I'm really happy about that. So hopefully it doesn't, um, sh you know, notice it very much. But I'm going to be stopping the video every three or four minutes. Because if you do a 20 minute video and it doesn't record and you have to do it three times... That's an hour of your time that is gone. I could get two more December dailies done. So I'd rather stop it every few minutes and make sure that it's recording. Um, plus, it's really annoying to say the same things over and over again. And plus, you don't remember what you said. So uh, hopefully you don't notice the stop and start too, too much. So again, I use the eye zinc, the topaz, and I colored it in. Now, I think this got cut out, but um, somebody asked... They said, you know, you were talking about the reasons that you kept the hip kit and you mentioned, um, you know, all that mixed media stuff. That's not part of the main kit, is it? And no, it's not. It's part of, there's a color embellishment and then there's a uh, color add-on, sorry, and then an embellishment add-on. You have your main kit. Let's start with that. You have your main kit. Then you have an embellishment add-on. Then you have a... a um, color add-on a cardstock add-on and when I was with Scraptastic I usually bought the two main kits and the two main and the two add-ons plus the two stamp sets plus the wood veneer you know plus now I I knew that they had the store in there too so I knew it used to range me about 150 to 180 dollars a month and this way um First of all, I couldn't keep both kits, so I had to choose one. This way, I find that I get a bigger variety of different things. Like if I, I already had the eye zincs in my stash, but if I didn't have the eye zinc, that would have been something new for me to try. And I love that. I love that Kimberly tries to find different stuff, you know, to kind of, kind of stretch your um, scrapbooking um what you do, you know, for scrapbooking. And I love that. I guess I was just, I did two years, almost two years of straight kits. And I'm, I w I'm just ready to, you know, d do different things on my backgrounds and stuff like that. I did a little bit, like I used a lot of templates and inks and, um, you know, splattering and, and that kind of stuff. But I'm ready to kind of just kind of take it to the next level, you know. So at this point, I used um, the light paste and the topaz eye zinc again. And now I'm using a Tim Holtz and it's almost like splatters. And I'm adding 
that on top of um, the coloring that I did with the eyes ink in the water. So it just adds another texture to it. And on the pattern paper, it says Peppermint's Garden. And I'm going to focus on that. And because, I mean, our elf's name is Peppermint. So I really wanted to focus in on that. So the tool I'm using right now is called the Ranger's Heat Tool. And it's perfect for mixed media. It doesn't get too hot. Like I can literally hold my hand underneath it for quite a bit of time. And I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. But... Uh, compared to my Stampin' Up! one, the Stampin' Up! one, I could not do that. The Stampin' Up! one is perfect for embossing, and I love this one for mixed media. Now, I wanted to use just some regular, just white, um, the light paste by itself, and so then I added some of that, so then now it looks like snow. It's really cute, and I really uh, love that. So I added to a few places on the layout. Now I'm going to clean off my Heidi Swap mat while those letters are drying up and I'm going to take my heat tool and kind of dry them up too and they're super shiny they're oh I just love them but uh you know I'm going to take my heat tool and just kind of dry everything up and then I'm going to keep going with the layout and uh there was a four by six card that was left and it just says uh you bring so much joy and you know that I'm talking about mason not peppermint <laughs> and um he is just so full of life. Uh, I mean, I, um, he's just a go, go, go little guy and just full of energy, funny, 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 funny. He just, you know, keeps us in stitches all the time because he's just so cute, the things that he says. And I thought it was just a fluke when I brought him to the hockey game the first time because he sat and watched the entire game, did not move, sat on my lap, on my lap and watched the entire game. And I just thought, well, maybe it's a fluke, you know, because it was the first time we brought him and he was just kind of mesmerized by the whole thing. And he had watched the game before that too. So that was two hours of hockey. And then that first night when we were walking out, there was another game started and he wanted to stay and watch it. And we're like, no, we're going home. It's 10 o'clock. You need to go to bed, boy. <laughs> and um, so last night, which was December 19th, we had another game. Anyway, we took him to see Santa. And we, you know, we'd say, you know, where are we going, buddy? And he was saying, hockey, hockey, hockey. Okay, yeah, tonight we're going to go to hockey, but where are we going right now? Like all he could focus on was going to hockey. And um, so I brought him to the hockey game again. And it was funny because at six o'clock I said, okay, buddy, you know, Mason's going to have a nap. And then, you know, we're going to go to hockey. Yeah, okay, nap. Went upstairs with his pappy and, you know, had a nap. And when he, I woke him up at 7.45 to go to hockey, kind of, you know, rubbed his eyes. And he says, we go to hockey now, mammy? And I said, yeah, let's go. And he sat down and he watched that entire hockey game. He did not move and he kept cheering for the kids. And it was just so cute. And you can tell he's just going to love hockey. It's just so adorable. But anyway, I just thought maybe it was a fluke, but nope. He absolutely loved the game again last night. So um, it was just so cute. I took a bunch of pictures, so I'll be doing a little about that too. But so I had a, well, there was a tag that came in the kit and it just said Merry Christmas. And I cut it down and I used the top of the tag at the top of the layout. And it's going to be part of my title because I didn't, because the title is kind of long. It's Mason Learns About Peppermint or it's, about sweet peppermint and um so the tag is going to i'm going to write down some words and then with the numbers because i didn't have all the numbers and i think that got cut out um i had nine eight seven and then i put dot 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 and then before the three i put dot 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 and then between the three and the zero i put more dots to sort sort of for the missing numbers and than the zero. So I used up all those numbers in the kit. So that's cool. And I I think I used up most of that kit. I might be able to um, do another page or so. Uh, I might have to bring in some of my stash. I still haven't gotten my December kit. And I know it's because of, you know, the craziness of the mail this time of year. And I mean, whatever. I... I haven't been able to scrapbook much anyway 
and um, the bit of scrapbooking that I'm doing, I'm trying to get, you know, caught up on my December daily and finish off this kit and maybe, you know, I'll try to work in my October kit too, uh, just to get that used up. And so there was rub-ons, those rub-ons are from my stash and it says you are my moon and stars I did take out some of those puffy stickers from Ellie studio and that did come in the kit and I I kind of put them around the layout one says love one says sweet and that is going to be part of the title and then a camera and then an arrow that says here and I point it to where it says peppermint's garden and now I'm using, also I'm going to be using some of the peppermints that were from Pebbles, the little enamel dots. I'm going to be using those on this layout too. And now I'm cutting out some rub-on stars. And those rub-ons from Studio Calico, they are amazing. I absolutely love them. They just rub right off, like no issues. And they're nice and like you know, if they're gold, they're gold. If they're silver, they're silver, silver. Um, they're just awesome. And um, if I kind of get twist tied today, I didn't sleep much last night. Mason, for some reason, was just, when he comes here, he, he sleeps with me just because I don't want him, to, you know, to be sort of afraid because it's not his room. So it just makes him feel more secure to know that he's, you know, with us. So I don't want him to feel afraid so but oh man alive he was just kicking it last night he ended up kicking me in the head in the back in the face and and then I realized it was it was too warm in my room so I turned off the heater and then he slept the rest of the night but by that time it was about 3 30 so I didn't get too much sleep so might get a little um tongue-tied <laughs> I think I'm going to be sleeping good tonight so I took out my American Craft roller date stamp and I have never used that thing and it is broken. Like I could hardly get it to, to turn. Anyway, I finally got it to turn and I took um, a little thing that said holiday cheer and then I put the date uh, that the picture was taken. And I'm loving that I'm getting some uh, pictures scrapped that are recent. Like all the pictures that I've done lately are all pictures that I was taken within... The last few days and I credit all that to my Canon selfie. Uh, last year I only had my picture mate and I 100% if you don't have a personal printer and you're trying to decide between which one to get personally I would get the Canon selfie. My picture mate I you know I buy the the ink cartridge or whatever and the, the papers and I'm not even halfway through and the ink is gone. And halfway through it says you have to keep cleaning the heads. It's it's a pain. With the Canon selfie, it says that there's 108 pictures to be printed with the thing. And I get 108 pictures. And there's none of this cleaning the head. And it just, you just hit print and it prints. And I love it. And I love that I can use my pick frame app. Now, I'm hoping... You know, once I have a bigger scrap room and maybe that I can connect my uh, printer to my computer the whole time, maybe I can use my picture because that picture mate was, and, and the money, the difference in money too. The picture mate cost me $300 and the Canon selfie cost me 150 So for half the price, and I love it about 10 times more. <laughs> And, and I mean, that's a personal preference. Somebody else out there could have a picture mate and totally love it. But for me, the Canon selfie is the bomb. Like, I just absolutely love it. I, I mean, I have the picture mate now, so I'll try to use it or, you know, whenever I can. But um, the Canon selfie, it's like, zi you know, zip, zap, done. You know, it's just done. I, I love it. And because uh, I, I do get a quite a, quite a bit of questions about that. So I just, you know, for me, for how easy it is to use and everything, oh, the, the selfie is the way to go. It's just so easy, a user friendly and less wastage, totally less wasting. Um, so I had taken out my mini market in the, 
what color is that I can't remember what color anyway I don't end up using it because it's too pink so or maybe that's the red ones yeah that's the red ones but it, it's the peppermint one but you can't really see it so I'm going to take another one out I think it's called cream and red and I like it much better but the um the camera's gonna stop and you're not gonna see me putting those down but that's gonna be the last thing that I'm gonna do and the layout's gonna be done so you're gonna see it in the pictures that I changed the lettering and it's the they're called cream and red and I I love those there they are right there and the, the battery died or maybe my camera was full that's what it was so here are a few close-ups and that's it the page is done so if you enjoyed this if you wouldn't mind me giving me a thumbs up and go check out the hit kit club and you know if it's something that you're looking for in the new year to be scrapping with kits so thanks for watching